I like to argue a lot with people that smartphone games are more than just time wasters. More than just something you pick up for 20 seconds and then forget about after you've played it. I use some well-known games to defend my point, but one rarely comes up in that discussion. That's Fruit Ninja. There's a good reason it doesn't come up, too. It's the counter-argument. It's the time waster. It's the game you pick up for 20 seconds, play, and then forget all about it. The catch, however, is that this game is good. The gameplay of Fruit Ninja is really simple. You swipe your finger across the screen and you cut things. Fruit, in this case, is the victim of those cuts. By cutting multiple pieces of fruit with a single swipe in combination, you get more points. By cutting more of certain types of fruit, or by cutting fruit in a certain order, you can unlock new ninja blades and additional backgrounds. It's simple, but very alluring. There's three modes of play included in Fruit Ninja. There's Classic, Arcade, and Zen. In Classic, you chop as much produce as possible without dropping any and without slashing any bombs which are cleverly thrown in with the various fruits. You're given three fruit drops or one bomb cut before it's game over and you weigh in with your score. Arcade mode is timed and you still have bombs, but rather than being game ending devices, the bombs there subtract 10 points from your score for each one you hit. You only get one minute, so hurry up with that fruit salad. In Zen mode, you're given the benefit of having no bombs, but you're still timed. The idea here is to play a relaxing game, which is somewhat counterintuitive to the idea that you're skeet shooting strawberries like some sort of couch samurai. The fun in Fruit Ninja is the experience of cutting the fruit. Like scratching an itch, there's a pleasant feeling of success with each successful swing of the blade. Everything about that experience has been perfected from the graphic reaction of the fruit to its juicy demise sound effect. That micro experience feels right and will itself bring you right back to the game for another 60 seconds. Unfortunately, the flip side to this approach is that Fruit Ninja lacks any real depth. Sure, there are unlockables that will require you spend a decent amount of time playing, but the shallowness of the game makes it tough to play for more than about five minutes at a time. This will make those unlockable items a little more difficult to obtain. Overall, Fruit Ninja has a very arcade-like feeling to the gameplay that works well on a smartphone. You're offered all the hilarity of a 1980s Gallagher performance without the need for a trash bag style poncho. I recommend Fruit Ninja at the current price of 99 cents on the Android market. Pixelfreak.com is giving Fruit Ninja 83 pixels out of 100.